Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Ontel Geek Teams, the inaugural tournament for Ontel Geek Teams. Um, and today we got a really interesting matchup. We got Geek Tropes uh, with Eli McKaig and Brittany Tapley going up against Team Three Star, which is at which is uh, Alex and Mark Kamire. With me on the desk is David Garcia. And David, we've talked a lot about you know as this tournament has gone on mm-hmm. about the chemistry between these new teams, how they're going to mesh, how you pair together two random teammates who may not have ever, you know, talked before or even played together or played each other before in any, in any setting. So uh, what are your thoughts going into this match? Well, I think Mark and Alex are going to like be very, are going to work very well together, mostly because they have been interacting. They are friends. Uh, They are from the same city. Or is Nashville a city or a state? I don't know. Eh, American geography is not my thing. Nashville is a city, yes. Thank you. Great. So, yeah, and uh, it's clear that they have common interests. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, Eli brings the positivity to basically any call he's in. So I think Eli is going to work well with pretty much everyone he's paired with. So I don't think Brittany and Eli are going to have that problem problem either. So I think this is going to be down to knowledge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Eli, he's a true vet of the game, been in dozens and dozens of matches like this before. So we'll see if he can bring that veteran experience uh, today. We will see what these two teams have to say right now in promos. I think for legal purposes, we have to mention that our full name is Team Three Star, sponsored by HeTap. Sponsored by HeTap. Thank yes, you. Definitely. Shout out to Business Daddy uh, HeTap. Yeah. Uh, it feels like uh, I know Halloween is coming up, but it feels like a very special occasion. This has never happened before, folks. True facts are getting the straight dope. Uh, all three members of the Tennessee crew are in one exact call. Uh, it's, it's we're really actually statistically we're going to find out who the best player is here today. Um, Could be. Could be. And uh, Brittany also came. So, uh, you know, sometimes you just get a plus one. You don't really know what to do with it. And you end up inviting like a really good player. Sometimes the plus one is uh, the one that is the life of the party. So we will see who is the life of this party and who is the ultimate trivia player. This may be our first and last time as Team Three Star, sponsored by HeTap. So I want to make sure everyone knows that Team Three Star, sponsored by HeTap, was a thing. And if we can go on, that would be great. But if we don't, I anticipate it's going to be a fun time regardless. Yeah. What say you, Alex? Let's do this. Uh, yeah, I blew off a date to be here, so let's get to work. What? Hello, we are the Geek Tropes. Myself, people have been calling me a veteran of the game. However, I'm merely a rookie in this type of match. In fact, I would say that Brittany over here, she is the veteran. She will be carrying me throughout this entire match, and I am so Happy to have Brittany as my partner. Brittany, thank you for accepting me as your partner. Yeah, it's really weird that like I'm the veteran here and like you're new. So like explain the rules. I thought that was like kind of interesting. But I think today we're just going to see, you know, how we work as a team and stuff and uh, just kind of go from there. And like what Mark was saying, I think win or lose, this is just going to be a lot of fun. I really like the idea of geek teams. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited too. And they were right. There are three Tennessee players in this match. There's them, and then there's me. If I if we win, it will just show that I am the best Tennessee trivia geek player. And that's sort of depressing when you think about it. Because there's only one. We need to have all of the Tennessee geek players be the best. So I'm excited. I know you're excited. I think we should just go ahead and get into this. What do you say? Yeah, yeah let's go. Alrighty, those were uh, yeah. those were some interesting interesting promos. Alex and Mark really showing off their chemistry. Uh, we got three people from the state of Tennessee here today, uh, which is probably more than I think I'm comfortable with as being from Georgia. Um, would not have guessed that those three are, are from the state of Tennessee. <laughs> they, they don't really seem Tennessee people to me. Um, but on the other side, Bernie and Eli, uh, they're really confident. Uh, Eli really you know showing his full support. For his teammate, uh, for Bernie showing some some really nice confidence. Um, so I think there's uh, 
n nothing else left but to get into the match. Now, I just and... I just have to say I think there are a lot of references that flying over my head right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Introducing first, making their Ansel Geek team's debut with the number five seed in this tournament, Alex and Mark Kamire, team three star, sponsored by Heat Tap. Heat Tap? Heat Tap. Sponsored by Heat Tap. And their opponents, also making their Ansel Geek team's debut, the number four seed in this tournament, Eli McKaig, Brittany Tapley, Geek Tropes. All right. Let us let me rearrange. Let's, let's flip. So Eli, put Eli in Alex's place. There we go. <laughs> That's it. Okay, <laughs> around. Alex, I am now you. <laughs> All right. Wait, I'm bastard. <laughs> there. Okay. There we go. All right. <laughs> round one. Here's how round one works. You're just gonna get ten questions from ten different geek categories. You're gonna have fifteen seconds to answer. If you get it right, you gain a point. If you don't get it wrong, you get nothing. The end of the round, if anybody has a perfect round, we will give them an extra question to get an extra point. Uh, each team will have three repeats and the use of a challenge throughout the duration of the match. Any questions before we get in round number one? No, let's go. All right. Uh, uh, David, why don't you go ahead and give them their first question? Sure. I love nothing more. So your first question comes in the category of mixed bag. Just like, take that away early. Who directed Chronicle? Chronicle, a movie that's pretty good, yeah, but I think solid. a lot of people hype it up. They hyped it up too much when I was going to see it. It's, it's become a little bit of, a, it has a little bit of a cult following like a lot of these other mixed bag films. Yeah, but I mean, there is a lot of crap in our mixed bag list, not gonna lie. Three, two, and we got a bit of condom. One. Pens down, we're gonna start up there with Eli. Josh Trank. And Alex. Josh Trank. And Brittany. Josh Trank. And Mark. Josh Trank. Clean sweep to begin the match. Josh Trank is correct. We're on your second question in the category of DC. Which DC film features an assassination at a courthouse witnessed by the main character? Have you ever been in court? I've like taken tours of courts, like on school field trips. I've never actually had the pleasure of being in a court for anything. <laughs> I, 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 I may be a, guil a guilty jaywalker every time I walk outside my door, but I've never, never been caught. The school trips here in Spain are to the forest, not to courtrooms. We're gonna go five, so four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Alex. Batman begins. And Brittany. But Batman begins too. And Mark. Well, I said Batman 89 because there is one there. And uh, we're going to go to Eli. I said Road to Perdition. Batman Begins is what we ha is, is, is the correct answer. Um, so only Alex and Brittany are going to get those points. I would, um, I would like to challenge that. Okay. So you, you guys will... Go ahead and use your challenge, uh, and we will get back to you with the results of your of the challenge. Back from the challenge, we looked at the scene from Batman 89. The assassination uh, in question takes place in front of City Hall and not a courthouse. The, the courthouse is only in Batman Begins. So Team 3 Star will be losing their challenge. Only Alex and Brittany will get, will get the points to that question. Uh, so we have a tie game, 3-3, going into their next question, David. All right. Your next question comes in the category of... Oscars! No, mm. the only league that has it. Probably. Name one of the three Oscars The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey was nominated for. A lot of That's... people have this one as their favorite of the trilogy. And I can I can see that. You know, if you're not a huge fan of, of Lord of the Rings in general, I can see how, how, how this would be their favorite. It's a very good movie. I prefer... Desolation of Smaug over it slightly. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's, it's still really good. It is. I mean, yeah. I think when it came out, the bar was so high with Lord of the Rings that Five, people. Kind four, of... three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Brittany. I just want visual effects. And Mark. Uh, best original music. And Alex. 
I said best original song. And Eli. I also said visual effects. Okay, visual effects is correct. Um, the other answers we would have accepted are best production design and best makeup and hairstyling. So only Eli and Brittany will be getting the points. Um, and uh, yes, only Eli and Brittany will be getting points for that. Uh, we're going to get to your next question in the category of Wizarding World. Which Hogwarts professor teaches the subject charms in the Harry Potter films? You know, this, in the books, this was always one of the favorite, my favorite classes to read. Yeah, because literally all like the major, all like the major conversations between all the oh. characters would happen like in the background of the class. I was it literally they literally said that it was always too much, so much noise that they didn't need to like whisper or anything. Yeah, it's yeah, it's good. It's good filler stuff. Five. Yep. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Mark. Professor Flitwick. And Eli. I said McGonagall. And Alex. Professor Flitwick. And Brittany. Flitwick. Flitwick is correct. Eli, the only one not getting the points on that one. I'm sorry, Swiss Brittany. Okay. I hit that cutting, cutting a little difference there. All right. Your next question is in the category of the MCU. It's a movie inside the MC. In the post credit scene of Black Widow, who is Yelena given a photo of intended to be her next target? I like this movie a lot. I know some people... I like it. Yeah, I think a lot of people put it further, like, very low in their MCU rankings. I have it, like... I think it had a, a, bad, a bad timing. Kind of like Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think yeah. it suffers from that syndrome because, like, there are no stakes in the movie. Not really. I I, I would have preferred it released uh, in between Infinity War and, yeah. and, and, and Endgame, personally. Yeah, exactly. You know, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start back up at the top with Eli. Hawkeye. And Alex. Hawkeye. And Brittany. Uh, Clint Barton, Hawkeye. And Mark. Hawkeye, Clint Barton. Clean sweep of that question. Geek Tropes maintaining their one-point lead. So we get into your next question. Category of quotes. Which Star Trek villain says the line, Organic minds are such fragile things. I don't know what to say without spoiling it. So, you like Star Wars? Big fan. Big fan of Star Wars. I mean, I don't know what to say. So, yeah. Quotes That's is always spoiling. hard because anything you say can be yeah. a spoiler for the question. So do some fancy it's, maneuvering it's, around it. Except, like, I mean, Star Trek. Four, three, okay. two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Alex. Uh, I said the board queen. And Brittany. I don't know. I went with Khan. And Mark. I also said Borg queen. And Eli. I said the Borg queen. The Borg queen is correct. <laughs> so with that, we have a tie game, and no longer does anybody have a perfect round with Brittany missing that. Right, okay. It's a good guess. Nine though. to nine, right? Yeah, nine to nine. Nine to nine, yes, that's what I have. Uh, the next question comes in the category of the DCEU. Who plays Steppenwolf in Justice League? You know, the one that matters. Yes, the one that matters, <laughs> but definitely the, in, the, in, the, the inferior one in my heart. That is the truth. It's the inferior one in quality and runtime. The one you can watch without falling asleep? <laughs> no way. No, no mean, way should a Justice League movie barely break the two-hour mark. Oof. That is true, but the other one is a lengthy movie. Let me tell it you. It is. And it, it, it could be cut down the spots, but I, I, I still love it. We're going to five, mm. four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll, we'll start with Brittany. Uh, Kieran Hines. And Mark. Kieran Hines. And Alex. Kieran Hines. And Eli. Kieran Hines. Clean sweep for everyone. All right. Our next question is going to the category of Marvel. 
in the Punisher, what event are Frank is is Frank attending with his wife and son when they are killed by Howard Saint's men? This is the superior uh, Punisher movie, in my opinion. In quality, <laughs> yes, but I but I Not have yes. a lot of fun with Punisher Warzone. It's a lot of fun. It is bad, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, but this one is like a okay movie. That's not like, it's like, fine. you know, and like, it's better than, it's, it's, it's better than Spider Man 3. You're gonna go too oh, fast. It's like, four, it's three, such a low bar. Two, one, <laughs> hands yeah. down. Let's start. Uh, let's see. Let's start with Mark. That's great. Thomas is hitting it. Uh, family reunion. Uh, and Eli. Family reunion. And Alex. I didn't realize they were Puerto Rican. Family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> and Brittany. Family reunion. Another clean sweep. Well done. All right. Your next question comes in the category of Star Wars. The reason why Thomas gave me the second, the first question. Right? Oh, yeah. In A New Hope. What kind of creatures do the Tusken Raiders ride? I watched this movie yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 it, it's a great watch. And it here and, and here in America, it's like always on cable. At least once a week, it's on cable. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I use yeah. Disney Plus. I don't watch TV. Yeah. Like it's 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 original trilogy Star Wars and Phase Three and MCU that is always on cable here. Hey, that's a good cable. Phase three Marvels. We're not even going to tell you everything that happened before this. <laughs> Five, You're so one, two, no. four, three, <laughs> two, one. Pens down. We're going to go to Eli. Wampus. And Alex. I said Bantha. And Brittany. Yeah, I put Banthas. And Mark. Yeah, I forgot. I said Tauntauns. I know that's not what they're doing. <laughs> Banthas is correct. So Brittany and Alex are going to both get those job, points. Alex. We remain tied as we get to your last question of the round in the category of Star Trek. In the motion picture, what malfunctions on the Enterprise causing the deaths of two crew members prior to the ship's departure from Starfleet? Yeah, my job said like it. This, you know, if if you if you if if any of you are suffering from insomnia out there, I, I suggest you pop on this movie and then you're <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, I you're agree. out in the first thirty minutes. I we honestly all collectively hate this film. I honestly don't know if this one or Final Frontier. They are oh, no, both. This, this one is worse. I can at least tell right. parts of Final I'm Frontier. Sure. The, the, this this yeah. one's just awful. I don't know you if know, I prefer a boring movie than a, more, an awful three. movie. I, I am one. Hands down. We're gonna start with Alex. The transporter. And Brittany. Transporter. And Mark. I said the warp drive. And Eli. I also <laughs> said the warp drive. <laughs> transporter is correct. Alex and Brittany <laughs> once again getting it right. So we have a tie game. See, uh, I like 15, it's always warp drive. <laughs> Fifteen apiece coming out of round number one. All right. So round number two is going to work like this. Uh, you were given three categories uh, from the wheel that was spun. Um, the team, the the higher ranked team, is going to get a chance to choose their category first. Each team will be given five questions in that category worth two points apiece. You have the option to go down to multiple choice for one point. Uh, watch out, everyone! Stealing is available, so be on the lookout for those steals. Um, all teams have uh, both teams have all three uh, repeats. Geek Trope still has their challenge. Three Star does not. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. All right. So because Geek Tropes, you are the higher ranked team, do you want to uh, choose your category first or second? Um, Brittany, I first. think we talked about this. I think we want to go first. Yeah. 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 We want to go first. Okay. What? Which category uh, would you like? Your categories today are Star Wars, Wizarding World, and Mixed Bag. I think we were saying Star Wars. Yeah, I'm good with that. So Star Wars, we're picking. 
All right. They had yeah. they had some with the toddler in the back, but they will be taking some. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It happens. Uh, and we're gonna go to team uh, three star. Which category would you like from Wizarding World or Mixed Bag? Sponsored by Hita. Sponsored by Hita. Uh, uh, yeah, every time, really every time you say that, we get a check. <laughs> yeah. Take a drink. So Wizarding World and Mixed Bag are on the table still. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, we could. I feel like we could do a pretty good, decent job with. Wizarding World. I know Brittany's yeah, very I good know. at it, but you know we could lead the the randomness of mixed bag to the five pointers. Yeah, true, and because uh, so, sometimes mixed bag is uh, is is on your side. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's do Wizarding World. Wizarding World. Yep. And to no one's surprise, mixed bag will be saved for round number three. Um, so geek folks, <laughs> do you want to go first or second? Uh, I I think we could go second. For this, we have our category, so we can go second and okay. hold it out. Yeah. Okay. So, team three star, uh, I will be giving you your questions in the category of Wizarding World. <clears throat> your first question in the category of Wizarding World In Prisoner of Azkaban, what spell is Harry attempting under his bed sheets at the beginning of the film? It's the Lumos. Uh, Lumos Maxima, right? Or is it just the regular Lumos? Well, he's doing Lumos repeatedly, and then at the end, I believe he uses Lumos Maxima. So I think it's yeah, because it's just like go. the bright light. Yeah, so. we just say Lumos. Well, okay. So do they want like just the one he's doing, oh, or mm. four, you could repeat. three? Yeah, repeat, please. Two. Please repeat. Right, that is your first repeat. In Prisoner of Azkaban, what spell is Harry attempting under his bed sheets at the beginning of the film? Because he okay, he, he does both. So yeah, he, he, do, he does he, he does Lumos a whole bunch of times, and then right before the the uh, title sequence, he says yeah. Lumos Maxima. So uh, Lumos, because that's that's the probably the that's the one he's repeating. So yeah, let's just go with right. Lumos. Four. Uh, Lumos. Final Three. answer. Uh, that is incorrect. Chance for a two point steal for Geek Tropes. Um, it's Lumos Maxima then. Yeah, yeah, like, because I was replaying that scene in my head as they were answering, and I was just constantly hearing him say Lumos Maximo, Lumos okay. Maximo. Like, that was the what he was repeating. Yeah, so. okay, so yeah. Lumos Maxima, we'll go with the final Yeah, answer. Lumos Maxima, final answer. And that is correct for a two-point steal. Uh, By the way, right? he, I think he repeatedly says Lumos Maxima, not Lumos. Am I correct? Yes, he only says Lumos Maxima, no okay. Lumos. All right. okay. Because... Lumos has a, a different effect than Lumos Maxima. Yeah. Your second question in the category of Wizarding World. Which Wizarding World film features a creature called a Zowu? That's um, Crimes of Grindelwald, I believe. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Fantastic Beasts of Crimes of Grindelwald. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. Two points. <laughs> All right, your third question. Who plays Dean Thomas in the Harry Potter series? I didn't watch enough How to Get Away with Murder yeah. to learn his name. Uh, maybe if I... If you do you know, know his maybe. name? No. Uh, multiple choice, then? Yeah, multiple choice, please. Yeah. All right, I can do that. Is it A, Alfred Enoch, B, Chris Rankin, C, Devin Murray, or D, Matthew Lewis? I think it's Matthew Lewis. No, Matthew Lewis is uh, Neville, isn't Neville. it? Neville, yeah. Yeah. Um, can we get a repeat of the options? Yes, you can. I can, get, I can do that for you. Is it A, Alfred Enoch, B, Chris Rankin, C, Devin Murray, or D, Matthew Lewis? I'm stuck between B and C. I think Chris Rankin is the guy that plays Percy. Okay. So maybe see if you're stuck, if you're. I mean, that's my guess. What, if, uh, do you have a guess? Not four, particularly. Three, All right, I'll take this one then. Uh, C, final answer. Oh, that is incorrect. Chance for one point steal geek tropes. Your options are A, Alfred Enoch, B, Chris Rankin, C, Devin Murray, or D, Matthew Lewis. It's Alfred Enoch. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alfred Enoch, final answer. That is correct for a one-point steal. Wizarding World is not my friend today. <laughs> All 
All right, your the next island. question. In Deathly Hallows Part 1, what part of Ron's body is splinched when the trio escapes the, the Ministry of Magic? I mean, it's like his arm up to the shoulder. Um, like, specifically right here, because uh, Hermione's putting the yeah, detonate. The, yeah. Um, so right here? Yeah, it's like right up, yeah. right up here. It's like his whole arm is like, is just yeah. fucked. Okay. Um, but I don't know if they if they want shoulder or if they want arm because well, I, I bet shoulder is fine. Four, go ahead. Three, shoulder, final answer. Two. That is incorrect. Chance for a two point steal for Geek Ropes. Come on. So is it his arm then, or would it be like his chest? Like is it up in his chest? Those would be the two areas. Well, I'll be honest. I this is the one question where I don't even have. Do you want to go with his chest maybe because it's higher up, or you want to go with his arm? I. See the way he was pointing at, like you're saying up there. Yeah. A part of me, because like it's up there, and you're saying chest. I feel like going chest, but and if it's yeah, arm, then whatever. Yeah, uh, chest. Final answer. That is also incorrect. We were looking for his arm because oh. it is specifically here, not on the shoulder, but on the arm where where he is splinched. Okay. Okay. You sure it doesn't <laughs> go all the way up to his shoulder? Okay. okay. All right. All right. And your last question in Wizarding World. In Chamber of Secrets, when Hagrid is escorted out of Hogwarts, he hints to Harry and Ron that they must do what in order to, to discover the truth about the Chamber of Secrets? Follow the spiders. He's like, if anyone's looking for some stuff, all they got to do is follow the spiders. Final answer. <laughs> that is, he gave the whole quote, and that is very much correct. Follow so the spiders, at the end of, wink, wink. At the end of three star <laughs> round, uh, Hagrid, uh, famous for his subtlety. At the end of three stars round, I have them with 19 geek tropes with 18. That's what I have, yes. Huh? All right, so David, why don't you go ahead and give geek tropes their questions in Star Wars? Sure. What planet is the character Body Rook killed on? Oh, isn't that. Aerith, right? It's about Scarif at the end where he dies. Yeah, so yeah. Oh. yeah. Scarif, final answer. That's correct for two points and the leap. In Attack of the Clones, Lama Su holds what political position on Camino? Prime Minister, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Prime Minister, final answer. That's correct for two points. Who provides the voice for Ashoka Tano in the Clone Wars? So that's Ashley Eckstein. Yeah. 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 Ashley, Ashley Eckstein, final answer. That's correct. Two points. Fourth question. At the beginning of Rise of Skywalker, after Rey fails to complete her training course, who offers to do it for her? Oh. I just remember her seeing Leia after. Yeah, do you want to do multiple for this? Yeah, yeah. multiple. We'll do multiple. All right. Sit. Ah, uh, have to move it. All right. Is it A, Leia, B, Finn, C, Chewie, or D, BB 8? No, it could be BB 8 because BB 8 yeah. was with her that entire time. Do you want to do BB-8 then? Because I can't see Leia saying that. Yeah, I yeah. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Uh, BB-8 finally. BB-8 is correct for one. Oh, nice. And your last question: Which Star Wars movie features characters being prepared as the main course for a banquet? The Empire, because they say like we're. Yeah, going to a banquet. Do you want to repeat the question? Just to make sure we're hearing this right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll repeat. Which Star Wars movie features characters being prepared as the main course for a banquet? Oh, prepared. So, so it's Return yeah. of the Jedi. Okay, I'm glad we repeated that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, Return of the Jedi. Final answer. That is correct. For another two points, think you up to twenty-seven to um, being four stars. Okay. 
Uh, Team Four Stars Nine. Twenty-seven to nineteen is what I have. Exactly. Yeah, twenty-seven to nineteen. That's. Uh, they yeah. Team Three Star, sponsored by Heptap. 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 I I I had the the themes. Swap. All right. All right. Well, so out of round two. Yeah. yeah. Out of round two is an eight point lead, twenty seven to nineteen for Geek Robes. We move on to round number three. Round number three works like this. You all chose the other two categories for your round two, leaving mixed bag for round three. Uh, each team is going to get a two point, three point, and five point question. Uh, teams are going to choose who takes the two, who takes the three, and who, uh, and then you're going to both kind of confer on the five. Um, so with this, with the score we have. Team three star is going to have to at least hit their three and their five to send it back to uh, Geek Ropes, um, although hitting all three would would, uh, would help as well. Um, so team three star, go ahead and choose who takes your two and who takes your three. Uh, I think you're more comfortable with the mixed bag movies. I'll take a two. Okay. All right. All right. So Alex going to take two. Mark will take the three. Uh, David, why don't you go ahead and give them their? Why don't you go, Kevin, and give Alex his two pointer? Uh, the, have they chosen the sets? Yeah. No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry. My, my mistake. Geek Tropes, you guys are in the lead. Would you like set one or set two? Um, since we're number one in the lead right now, I think we go with one. Sure. All right. Um, so that's that logic. Yeah. <laughs> three, team three stars, sponsored by Hita. You are going to get your two points and that's going to be for alex who plays the lead david dan in unbreakable bruce willis that is correct for two points you up to 21. All right mark for three pointer in set two how is Syndrome killed in The Incredibles? The, uh, his cape causes him to get sucked into uh, the engine, and he blows up. That's correct. Two points. That, three three points. points. Sorry. No capes. No capes. <laughs> right? So your five-pointer to avoid the TKO and send it back to kick chops. What is the name of the leader of the criminal gang working for Top Dollar in The Crow? <laughs> uh, I mean, may I, Alex? After you. Fire it up. Uh, that is a T bird. Yeah. Five, Five points. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Well done. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's hard to keep massive, track of the rules like which word massive pull there great round three from team three star getting their total up to 29 uh geek, uh geek coach is at 27 so they'll they'll need to hit uh this two pointer to tie or their three and their five uh to win all right so uh you guys so uh your you, you you'll be on your questions from set one who's going to take two and who's going to take the three how comfortable are you in mixed bag, Brittany? I'm fairly comfortable. I could try and take the three if you want. Or I mean, feel? if, like, on a scale of one to ten, how comfortable are you? Like a seven. Um, all right, if you're, if you're comfortable enough, you can take the three. I'll take the okay. two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Eli, you'll be taking the two-pointer. And here's your question. Who plays the lead, Curtis, in Snowpiercer? Oh, Chris Evans. That is correct. We have a tie game. All right. Here's the situation. Geek Ropes has to hit either their three or their five to win. So, Brittany, here comes your three-pointer in the next bag. Who kills Wesley's father in Wanted? Ooh. Can I go with Sloan? That is incorrect. The answer was Wesley himself. Wesley himself oh. killed his father. Okay. All right. Sorry, Eli. Oh. All right. Just, 
We will stay it's at okay. 29. Even if we miss this one, we're tied. So. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. All right. So, Geek Probes, your five pointer in Mixed Bag. This is to win the game. In 2004's Hellboy, Professor Broom says that what event in 1958 truly ended the Second World War? Hitler's death, isn't it? I mean, I, I like, would... I just watched this. I'm pretty sure it's Hitler's death. All right, if you just watched but it... But let's, let's repeat it just yeah. tonight. Yeah, one more question. One more repeat. Okay. Their second repeat. In 2004's Hellboy... Professor Broom says that what event in 1958 truly ended the Second World War? Yeah, because Hellboy says back to him, doesn't he die in 1945? He's like, that's what everyone thinks. So I'm like mm. pretty confident to go with Hitler's death if you're cool with that. All right. If you're if you are 100% confident on okay. it, I will follow your lead. Okay. Uh, the death of Hitler, final answer. And your winner. Geek tropes. It is. It was indeed Hitler's death. Walk off victory for Geek Tropes. What a match! Final score of thirty-four to twenty-nine. Wow, what a finish! All right, yep. so we're going to go ahead and go to post-match interviews. We're going to start with our unfortunate second-place finishers today. Team Three Star, sponsored by Heatap. Guys, uh, you played. You recovered. You had a great round one. Rec you had to have some stumbles in round two, but you got you swept mixed bag in round three, which I don't think. No, I don't think anyone's ever done that nope. in, in, nope. in, in, in my memory. I don't think anyone's ever done that. So that is incredibly impressive. You're able to conquer a category most people hate. Um, so very well done. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. Um, so how are you guys feeling? I'm bummed out by those uh, the Wizarding World questions or just because um, we knew the answers, but just it was uh, uh, we just yeah. we stumbled. We, 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 yeah. we, we went left when we should have gone right. Correct. And, and some of those were me, and I apologize for that. I, um, no, they're. I mean, they were me too because it's, you know, it was a team effort. Uh, but you know, team three star, not four star. That's that's just kind of how it rolls. However, yeah, I, I'm extremely proud of us in round three because mix mixed bag is is a mood killer most of the time for for any for any team. And uh, but sometimes it the gift just keeps on giving. And I'm never angry at a question about the movie The Crow. <laughs> so uh yeah so you know tis the season uh it is what it is i'm just happy we didn't get knocked out i know what good players both eli and britney are especially i mean you give britney star wars chances are it's lights out because yeah. that's she's just that good in it um so but i'm happy we, we didn't we didn't lose by ko or tko that's that's a win in my book but uh you know it's these guys are good players so hats off to them <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, this this does mean the end of the road for you guys uh, the, this season. Um, we don't really know what the future holds for teams, but if you were to team up again, are there any other teams in this tournament that you would really like to get a shot at? What do you think, Alex? All of them. All of them. <laughs> all of them. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, me, me and Mark are... are pretty decent friends i'd like to think um and yeah this there. is the end of the season but it gives us plenty of time to watch movies uh i don't know mark do you role play do you want to do some like dnd or something That's uh we could do that question. oh that role play yeah yeah uh, yeah that totally <laughs> that uh i was about to say I was like well maybe conversation later but anyway um i'll have to ask my my lady uh uh yeah no we, we'll 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 figure something out. But I do want to say this. I know that this means that Eli it, thinks that he is the best geek trivia player in Tennessee. I don't know. He and I were kind of uh, we were kind of neck and neck with some of our answers here. And I've never played him one on one. So yeah. maybe one day down down the road when this this team tournament. Good luck to them in the in the future of this tournament. But uh, I don't know, Eli. I got my, I got my eye on you, man. Well, I think uh, you and I we're destined to go one on one one day. One and day, you know I'll what? Get there. That goes double for me for both of you. Actually, I actually do want to see who is the best geek trivia player in Tennessee. Whether that means Mark Meyer, myself, or Eli McKay, I matched points and exceeded. I think um, both of you, and I don't. Yeah. I don't mean I, that in respect in round I think one. I feel like I think I've earned my place here uh, yeah. in uh, amongst the geek category. So. Uh, Next year, let's do it. Uh, the one and only three-way geek match. 
Who knows? Uh, yeah, I, I was about to say I may do the first the first ever total geek triple threat. Let's Who knows? Do it. Yeah, I mean that'd be that'd be really that'd be really entertaining to, to find out who. Who gets to hoist the Tennessee belt chair or championship or whatever? <laughs> uh, but that does sound like a lot of fun. Um, you know, unfortunate for you guys, but you both played a heck of a game, especially that round three. So hopefully, we'll see you guys soon. Uh, we're now going to bring in our winners today: Geek Tropes, Brittany and Eli. Look, you guys were neck and neck in round one. You got a lot of really good steals in, in oh, shoot, a lot of good steals in the <laughs> in round two, and then you just I. My pen's all over the place today. And then you just you ran Star Wars, 9 for 10. Um, and your only only blemish was that missed three in mixed bag. But, Brittany, you followed it up by a great five-point pull, and it won the game. So how are you guys feeling? I mean, I know I'm feeling great because, I mean, as I said in the beginning, I said, Brittany, you're probably going to have to carry me a little bit. And she very much did in round one. I was stumbling so hard in round one. It wasn't until round two with – some of the Wizarding World questions because I know actors and I'm able to play replay some scenes in my head and with the Star Wars, like helping her out, getting those questions. And then, yeah, like she's a great partner to have. And honestly, without her, I, I probably would not have made it to this point. She's fantastic. And to Mark and Alex, let's do it. The heart of Tennessee, <laughs> who's going to win? <laughs> The Rocky Top Bowl, we'll call it. Uh, so this does mean you guys will advance in the tournament. Uh, your next opponents, um, we can reveal who that is. Yeah, right we do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, we do know it. Did you know your it? Next, yes, right. yes, <laughs> yes, we do. Hold on, I have to. I have to make sure I have the the correct. I can tell him. Yes, please go ahead and tell them because I'm totally uh, <laughs> forgetting who won that match. You guys are going to be playing the team of Splinter, which is Ryan Payne and Tyler Birch. So uh, I am going to go to Brittany first. Um, thoughts on facing Tyler Birch for like I mean, 107th time. Yeah, so uh, Tyler, we have a bit of a rivalry going, but Ryan is actually my fandom partner, so it'll be really interesting to play them. I think aside from like you and uh, RJ, they're probably the uh, scariest team in the oh, in the tournament. Oh yeah, That's you guys nice killed it. To say. Um, so <laughs> <She's talking. laughs> so I, we're gonna have to. Like, up, we're gonna have to put on like a performance like we did today. I think though we played really well in round two, so if we can keep that up, I think we can give them a run for their money. But they're gonna be tough. Yeah, I, all I need to make sure is that I improve on my round one, and I know that I can. Like Thomas, you know firsthand. Like when it comes to round one, I can. I just need to improve just a little bit, and I can do a whole lot better. And I honestly think, with Brittany as my partner, I can honestly see Geek Tropes winning this tournament. It doesn't matter who we're gonna go up against. We're we're gonna win this tournament, in my opinion, and it's going to be because Brittany is a great great player in and of herself and i can be a great support and that's all that's going to matter and geek tropes we're gonna continue on we're called geek tropes in the geeks team division for a reason sure. because that's what we are we are geeks and we are going to make sure we win this tournament absolutely well you guys put in a heck of a performance today i think ryan and tyler are definitely going to be having to do some extra prep for you guys before the next round uh but thank you guys uh for being here Great match, and we'll see you in the next round. Well, bold All words right. from one Eli McKay. Mm, very strong words. Uh, final thoughts on, on, on the match, David? I think that what, this was a neck and neck match all mm. the way to the finish. Both five pointers, great, I, great five point pulls for both of them. Neck and neck in round one, a great recovery from Team Three Star, sponsored by Hitup. Like, I think this type of match is what we want to see in a team's tournament. Exciting until the last minute. And I had a lot of fun. This, these four have been entertaining all the way through. And you too. You were killing it today. Bye. Thank you. So are you. <laughs> uh, well, that is the end of another round one Geek Teams match. If you want to go watch the other matches that have been released, please do that. Like and subscribe. Watch all the videos. Stay tuned. We have another uh, exciting round. We have more round one matches coming your way. Stay tuned for semifinals and eventually the finals of this tournament. Sure to be great matches all the way through. So for myself, for David, for Eli, for Brittany, for Mark, and for Alex, thank you all for joining us. Uh, 
uh, stay safe, wash your hands, what, whatever Spence says at the end of matches that, that they host, do all of that. Uh, and as always, uh, be nice, I guess.